How's it everybody? My name is Andrew Badaka and we're here going to review my 2019 XLT FX4 F250. If you guys like the video, drop a like and subscribe. So let's get this thing started. Let's take a quick walk around so I can show you what this truck looks like. And yes, it is a work truck. So I'm going to give you my honest review of what I think of my truck. Close to seven months of owning it, using it, pulling trailers, putting trash, putting debris and everything in the back of this truck. How I like it, how it drives, what I think of it thus far, and if I would buy another one or if I would switch to a different truck. And I'll give you guys my honest opinion on everything I think about this truck. I hope you like and enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and open this hood up. Let me show you guys what's under the hood. Let's hop on up because this is a pretty tall truck. So this is a standard Ford 6.7 liter power stroke diesel engine. Battery on the left, battery on the right. A cool little light for if you're working at night. And it does have 450 horsepower with 935 feet pound of torque for this F-250 diesel. Now, we we'll close the hood. We we'll take a quick walk around. This is a KG Custom Ford diesel that I did get from Kang Grody Ford Carlsbad. So as you can tell, the rims and tires, yes, you can add them on, but I bought this truck just like this. So this front wheel and all the wheels, this is a 35 inch all-terrain needle grappler tire with 20 inch aluminum black wheels and yes it is it does have a a two inch leveling kit all around the whole truck and it does sit pretty high it comes with the tires and it's fx4 also package so it does have rancho in the back springs in the front and it comes with the spacer right here for that leveling kit for the front side we take a stroll right on back here this is not a power lifting or powered down tailgate it does when you lock it and open it hit the unlock button and then it opens it is not a slow going down tailgate it is pretty heavy not too bad now this is a work truck, so these are my tools that I use on pretty much everyday basis. I do have this tied down. Nobody steals it. Never know. Now on the back side, I do have a tow hitch. It does come with backup sensors, two on each side. And also, it comes with a backup camera. And it does have a cool line for towing and parking and turning. We'll get into that once we hop inside and I guys show you guys around the inside as well couple cool things about this truck so standard f-250 tow mirrors with the blinker on the mirror right here and with the amber light at night also comes with this keyless entry so if you lock your keys in your truck and you want nobody to get in you go ahead and punch in that code opens the door right up so let's go inside and check it out which is great about this truck it does have Bluetooth so you have hang up call Voice command, higher, lower, just the standard stuff, cruise control, and all your great stuff. And on the door here, we have, you know, change your mirrors. This truck does not come with the closing mirrors where these will go in automatically. Another cool thing about this truck, since it is the KG Custom truck package, it does come with this somewhat, it is fake leather. And it does come with it on here. Now the only thing I don't like about this truck is it does show some scratching. Now again, this is a work truck. So of course there is going to be scratches. In the front, we also come with this cup holder. You need to scoot that over and stuff like that. Standing with the Ford. Comes with this little opening right there. And yes, stay safe everybody. Hand sanitizer and all that stuff and mask if you need them. That's pretty cool. And as you open the center console here. It is pretty deep, it goes pretty down pretty far, and it is pretty big, and I like it with this, especially with this sliding shelf. You can put some stuff on that you need to grab. 
pretty fast. Also, it does come with this little indent right here at the top, which I don't, maybe for a GPS or anything that you want to put up on here. Also, it does come with a downhill descent right here as well. Also, it does come with exhaust brake, traction control, hazard lights as normal. It does come with a touch screen. It does not have dual climate control, just regular AC. No dual climate control, just you set to one, one temperature gauge. Standard, two wheel, four wheel, four high, four low, two high, regular driving mode right here. It does have a adapter for your trailer. If you decide to put brakes on your trailer, you can go ahead and hook it up right here. If you have a control, you go ahead and adjust. Cool thing about this, it is touchscreen. It makes that cool sound, settings, audio, normal stuff for your phone, Bluetooth, whatever you have, so on. It does have Apple CarPlay, so if anybody does want to buy this truck you do need to plug in your phone for Apple and as well Android CarPlay settings Bluetooth 91 all that cool display and all that what's up everybody I know it's the next day I recorded the video yesterday this is the following day forgot to record the camera part when I told you I was gonna show you <clears throat> I did just get off of work so I am a little dirty and that's why I'm in company clothing and stuff like that but here I'll go ahead and show you the camera part for the backup camera so let's take a look so we go and put it in reverse so it does show the two backup lines right here if you want to go to the parking spot because it does have wide mirrors and then right here faintly you can see the line that goes straight across right where the tow hitch is at so if you're hauling a trailer like i am if you're going to the desert dump truck or dump trailer or anything like that has a little bit of assistance so you can line that right up and you can do everything by yourself i hook up everything by myself and all that stuff it's super easy with this truck i well, hope you guys enjoyed it um sorry for posting the next day or making this video the next day but hope you guys like it i pretty much explained the inside of the truck on the front side so let's go hop in the back seat and i'll show you guys what it is back there all right guys let's check out the back seat so first thing you notice when you open this door is that the back seat is really big. Sorry for the trash bags, GoPro stuff, and drone stuff. I am part of a roofing company, and I do take video and stuff like that for the jobs. So these back seats do fold up, which is a great thing if you need to put anything in here. For me, propane tanks, copper, or anything like that. That's special stuff that customers require. Now this thing does have a locking mechanism right here. This is locked, can open it push it forward unlocks goes right open and yes it does have a locking mechanism right here so this cannot fold and it goes up on both sides if you want to put it down push that down boom and then lock it and you can't get up now for the back part I do like these leather seats and it does have this leather component um, I just use these for glasses or pamphlet the manual sits back there hasn't moved Another cool thing about this, it does have USB chargers for your phones. You don't need the adapter like in the front. Also has this for your portable car charger or anything you can use it for. A battery you can plug in. Also, like the front, it does have a plug-in as well. 400 watt max. Can't really do much. Used it for compression one time. I was out in the desert. Worked perfectly fine. Went for a little bit. Also, cool thing. You get these little cabinets right here. There's a little space you can put. I got my chalk line in here. Stuff to lock the trailer, screwdriver, just a couple few things I have in here. And that's pretty much about it. You got these cool little compartments. Aside from my shoes and tie downs, you got, if you need to pop off a tire, here's your stuff to jack up your truck and all that cool, awesome stuff to take off a tire. All right guys, so let's go hop in this truck and take it on the block and I'll tell you guys what I think about how it drives. Let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. Go ahead and take this thing on a test drive.
So yes, I did buy this truck for a daily commuter, daily traveler, a work truck. Its main use is to pull a trailer that holds anywhere from maybe, we'll say, a thousand to ten thousand pounds inside of it. So yes, a diesel is required for the type of work that I do as a career now videos like this is kind of just something new i'm trying if you guys like the video please like and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to throw a comment if i miss anything throw a comment any feedback is good feedback and i would greatly appreciate it so yes i am from california i do live about 15 to 20 minutes from the beach and I do love living here in sunny California so in a little bit after I pass the school make sure it's safe to do so I will go ahead and show you guys what this truck does have without pulling a load so I'll go ahead and slow it down This thing does get up and go and yes it does have a ladder rack on it and a toolbox and some material behind the truck so it is a little heavier than normal but then again that is what this truck is built for which is pretty cool in my point of view now the suspension on this is pretty smooth it is leveled so yes, sometimes you do get bumps kind of do affect you a little bit. And that's just because it is a heavy truck. But other than that, I do enjoy driving this truck. We're just taking it around the block real quick. Go back over there and tell me what you guys think. So also cool thing about this truck, a couple mods, not mods or any aftermarket things I have put on this truck is I have changed my front lights, high beams, low beams two leds now they are blue slash white um the regular halogen beams were kind of just plain old yellow wasn't a very nice look for my truck to be quite honest and also in the back the rear tail lights they are also a red led light as well now sometimes you get that flash fast blink but when I did buy the lights, I had to buy a regulator and stuff like that. So during the day, regular blinker. When the lights are on, like this. And of course, when I say it, it doesn't blink fast. Of course. There it goes. There you guys go. Got that fast blink for you. Let me turn that off. Turn it back to auto. So if you guys have any questions, like I said before, feel free to drop a comment. And I also have another YouTube channel and it kind of just goes in detail of my profession and what I also do for a living besides these reviews. Now this is my first review. If you guys want me to drop some more, I also have a 2020 F-250 with quite a bit more standards, quite a bit more features and stuff like that so if you guys want to see that one go ahead and like the video and if the video gets 50 likes i'll go ahead and do a review on a f-250 2020 power stroke as well so thanks for watching and i hope you guys have a great day laters